Okay, guys, uh, I got a request to uh, show you some of the sort of the other reading features, the other files that the Nook can handle, specifically PDFs, um, Excel files, and uh, PowerPoint. So I've loaded all those on here. Let's check them out. Um, let's see how it is. Okay, um, the screen is flickering right in the in the camera, but keep in mind this is just a consequence of the of the camera. Um, the screen doesn't actually flicker, just want to make that clear. It's just when it, the brightness is all the way up, it's kind of hard for you guys, I think, to, to read what's and sort of see what's on the screen. So if you can handle the flickering, then, then we'll just proceed that way. Okay, so you just go into library, and you go to uh, my files, and uh, go to documents, and let's see here. So here's a PDF. Let's load a PDF. This is a paper in nature. Um, and so it just gives you the full page view initially and then you know you can go s swipe and it'll load the next page it has a pinch to zoom um, that doesn't allow you to actually see as you're zooming but it works nonetheless so here you know we've zoomed to a column um, I mean you can zoom pretty that's it that, there we go um, you get buttons here zoom buttons if you want as well but uh, and uh, they do work in landscape so there we go you know here's some the figures look really nice. I mean, it basically just looks like you're on a computer. Um, there you go. All right, so there's the figure. Great. Um, zoom all the way out. You have uh, some options here when the PDF comes up. So you hit this little key. You can fit to width. So it just fits the width of the screen. You can fit um, just fit the, um, the full page. So if you say fit full page. Well, it does the same thing, I guess. Oh, here, so if we hit hit fit to width on the landscape, um, it'll fit the width here, and you can then read the PDF that way. It, it, it's nice. It handles handles it pretty well. Um, there's no search that I've found. Um, you, there's a button you can say go to page. You can get properties of the PDF, and you can just get about, and it shows you that we're running um, Quick Office 3.3.44, uh, uh, it says Barnes and Noble, so I guess it's sort of their their version, or I'm not sure what the most recent version of Quick Office is. Um, but when you get to the top of a page, well, that's the top of the document. But when you get to the top of a page and you swipe down, it loads the next page. So PDFs, pretty nice, um, in my opinion. All right, so let's go back. Uh, let's take a look at a Word document. Takes a little while to load it. This one, uh, okay, there we go. So it it sort of shows it fits the width of the document and when you pinch to zoom um, it resizes or, or wraps the text such that um, it stays you know you don't have to scroll left and right because you've got the, all the text here and uh, you know you can go through here and it's just basically one big document um, pretty nice pretty nice you know you can actually scroll the screen is flickering because it's actually uh, when it sort of dims and there's a little thinking icon for a second, so it must be, you know, thinking about it. Um, if you're wondering why the screen is is doing that, um, just takes a second. And then in, in landscape, it does. Um, it also looks. It's fine. Looks good. The options here in Word or in Quick in the document is you can search. You can go to page view and then properties and about, and those don't do anything. Page view. Um, you know, it's just like page view in Word. It gives you the page number you're on here in the, um, you know, as you're scrolling in the upper right, four out of 19, and it has the little bars. Um, I think it looks works best in landscape because when you go into portrait mode on page view, um, you can zoom in, but then what it does is it, it doesn't wrap the text. But in any case, pretty pretty nice. All right, let's go back. Um, and let's take a look at some, let's look at a, at a Excel file. Okay, so looks like Excel. Um, this is a big, sort of a relatively large document. Uh, scrolling is not hyper smooth, but it seems to work okay. Um, let's see if we can, oh yeah, pinch to zoom kind of works too, which is kind of cool. And uh, and landscape works just fine. So I mean, it, it actually works um, surprisingly well here. A little sluggish, but I guess you can 
you can kind of, I don't, you can't really do anything with it, um, but you can select things, and, I sp and it gives you the formula bar, so I guess if there was a formula in Excel, I would tell you that what the formula is for that cell, um, and also you get, um, you get these uh, button zooms, buttons to uh, zoom in and out. Um, let's see, menus, I'm hoping we'll be able to go to other sheets. Worksheet, good. Um, okay, well, there's only one worksheet in this document, but so you can go to other sheets, which is cool. Uh, what else? Go to cell, sort of like go to page. There is a search function in this, which is over here, and properties and about, and that's about it for, for Excel. So let's uh, lastly try a PowerPoint. I haven't done this yet. Um, this is kind of a large file, so I'm curious to see what it does. Uh, it's heavy on pictures. It's probably about a 15 meg um, PowerPoint. So it's loading there. It started up in landscape. I didn't tell it to do that. But um, so there, there it is. Uh, and actually, it's kind of nice. It's a little sluggish, but oh, there, it's got a little like, whoa, I didn't do that. But it does have pinch to zoom, so that's kind of cool. Um, it, it feels, it's got a little snap to it, like see there, I didn't swipe far enough and it brought me back to this page, which that's interesting. There, now that time I got it there. Um, so that's, there, we're sort of zoomed out all the way. So, I mean, it works. This is ex an extremely um, image-heavy uh, Excel file, as I said. But uh, but it works, and it looks well. And it, you also have the, the, the zoom buttons here. Um, options here. Looks like go to slide. Start slideshow. I'll try that. What happens? Started it. Oh, there she goes. Um, I'm not sure if it's auto advancing or what here. Yep, it is actually. Um, it's auto advancing the slideshow. Uh, with um, it doesn't look like you can change the time in between, but uh, but pretty cool. Um, the other options, yeah, not nothing much else. Stop slideshow. Um, and I don't think no, it just won't do anything. Oh, goes to portrait. Okay, just takes a second. And there you go. These are the different slides. Pretty good. All right, um, that's about it for now. And if you would like to see some other things, let me know. Um, when you plug this into the computer uh, with the charging cable, it's just a USB cable, it, uh, it just recognizes it as, as a USB, you know, USB host. So um, that's that. All right, catch you later, guys.